Peace family, welcome to The Brief. Today I wanna to talk to you about two different archetypes. The warrior archetype and the magician. The essence of the warrior archetype is an embodiment of assertiveness, courage, and strength. He is the protector and defender, ready to confront challenges and adversaries head on. The warrior looks at challenges and finds purpose in it. If there's a war, then the warrior is going to move towards that war and prepare himself. The warrior is always looking for a war in life, but not just a bloody war of chaos and violence, a war in the sense of challenge, a way to assert themselves, their force, and show their usefulness and their value to society. The warrior has a certain spirit of calmness, but also readiness. The warrior has the qualities of discipline, decisiveness, and loyalty. Discipline from the disciplined mind, body, and soul, honed through rigorous training and practice. In order to be a strong warrior, he has to constantly take himself through fire. But as you do that, you develop the habits and routine, and you get better and better and better. Through that practice, developing a disciplined and very strong mind, very regimented and rigid. So if you think about the soldiers and the army and the calmness that a lot of soldiers have coming out of the army, right? It is because they have went through routines every single day that allowed them to become a disciple of that routine, gaining consistency and discipline throughout time. So therefore, a warrior has a way of doing things. A warrior is intelligent in the understanding that everything has its own way. They have a level of respect for the way of things. And when you learn how to live life with the warrior's way, then you develop a philosophy for every process. So therefore, you have a thinking and there's a meaning behind everything that you do. A warrior is decisive, having the ability to make swift and decisive, clear decisions, cutting through confusion and hesitation. A warrior has to be prepared, but the training and the practice is what allows the warrior to be prepared and quicker than others. See, the warrior is one who goes over a thousand scenarios in their head, but also training for the scenarios in case they happen. So therefore, they have the ability to act quicker than the average person. When you go over ideas in your head, then you fill your mind with different expectations. So when they happen, you can react faster because you're not surprised because it is as if you already went through it. So the warrior is one who goes through constant scenarios, prepare for those scenarios. So therefore they can be disciples, decisive, trusting their intuition based on their own mastery of self and the practice and discipline that they harness, right? Preparing for what's to come. Loyalty. The warrior is fiercely loyal to his cause, his comrades, and his principles. The warrior is mostly always thinking about the principle of the matter. He is loyal to a fault, but testing that loyalty can get you hurt. When you call upon the warrior that is your friend, they will come. When you need them, for times in trouble, do not waste the phone call of emergency to a warrior. And when you are that warrior, you are the one that shows up. You have a fierce, deep connection to the people you have loyalty because part of your philosophy is to be loyal to others, is to find your family and protect your family. So when one is a part of that covenant, that bond that you have with them and you fellowship with them and you have love and connection to them, you will use your skill sets and your mindset, and then you will be loyal to them. It's always good to have a warrior on your side, but it's even better to have a warrior inside. Now, the magician archetype. The magician symbolizes knowledge, insight, and transformation. He is wise, advisor, and the keeper of secret knowledge, guiding others to deeper understandings of the world. Today, I think I see a lot of fake magicians don't have real deep knowledge of self pretend to share secret knowledge right but this knowledge is not really coveted and it's not that you have to come up with your own or new knowledge 
But this should be knowledge you have actual experience and depth in. But the magician is one who has wisdom, intuition, and mastery. The wisdom of the magician seems to come at ease because of all of the years of studying, all of the years of developing their minds and having deep understanding on all of these different subjects. So they're often the one that people come to for advice. They usually have an opinion or an idea or just about everything because they have studied multiple fields of understanding. They seem to have a covenant with certain knowledge that they hold dear to themselves. They don't share everything that they know because they possibly believe that others may not be able to handle it. So it's not that they keep knowledge secret because they don't want to share. They keep it secret because they believe everybody's not ready to hold certain knowledge. Throughout time, they have always been uh, keepers of knowledge, holders of that flame that could enlighten others. But it's dangerous when certain men get knowledge. Today, knowledge is sold to the highest bidder. It is packaged. It is given away. But knowledge in the wrong hand can make a man dangerous or knowledge in the hands or the head of a man that is not ready for it can be unhealthy for them. The magician, the one who transforms the world, the one who shares the knowledge, the one who's constantly gaining and learning all the time. It is up to them to focus on gaining that wisdom, sharing that wisdom, knowing what to share, but also knowing what to keep to themselves. They have a deep and profound intuition, a heightened sense of intuition, able to perceive truths that are hidden from others. A high level of ability to observe the world, understanding the meaning of things. And by trusting that intuition, it gains them another leverage that they have in society and the world. When a magician is not aligned with trusting their instincts and intuition, then they are not properly able to guide others. And they have regrets because they're not able to act off of what they know was to be true. But when they are properly in tune and they can see truth and you wonder, it's almost as if they can predict future. They know what's going on, but they may ask you to confirm so that they can trust you. Not because they don't trust their intuition, that inclination of feeling that they already know and the inclination of intuition comes from their vast ability from all of their knowledge and experience of their subconscious and unconscious mind to filter valid and invalid information to bring the forefront of correct knowledge to their mind in the form of truth and understanding. So they may not have to spend all that time anymore processing things, but their mind is working in the background to process the information. So it may seem like magic. Mastery. The magician is skilled in his craft, whether it's science, art, or spiritual practice. Focusing on mastery comes at different levels, starting off in the initiation phase when you're just getting to know, going to an adept, learning more, getting deeper into the secrets, the artistry, the skill and production, becoming an expert in it. Having experience and knowledge to where you now have the ability to share with others. And then over time, honing on that skill and practicing it through repetition to become a master. And once they reach mastery, they're actually able to gain great financial wealth, sometimes becoming great consultants, educators. And even sometimes getting fame off of it because they are exalted higher than the rest of society because they are so far away from the common man's understanding of subjects. The shadow warrior is the sadist who revels in cruelty and seeks to inflict pain and suffering on others. It is hard to go to war and be good at it. And not enjoy it. Because we often enjoy the things that we are good at. And we are good because we enjoy them. 
So the warrior has to balance out the sadists inside themselves so that they don't go so far that they lose themselves. The masochist. The other shadow aspect is the masochist who sacrifices himself needlessly and derives a perverse satisfaction from his own suffering. The sadomasochist finding suffering from others and making themselves suffer as a form of punishment, putting themselves through pain unnecessarily and needlessly. Sometimes to prove that they're tough enough to do it or sometimes because they have shame on their sadist kiss ways or what is it? Sadist's ways. So then they become a masochist, punishing themselves over and over and over and over and over and over and over, constantly going through a dark road, having the inability to live with themselves for what they believe that they have done. The shadow magician is the manipulator who uses his knowledge and skills for deceit and control. That is the temptation of knowledge, knowing that the power that you have over others seeing the level of intelligence and intellect that others have, knowing that yours is higher and having the ability to use it and flaunt it over others, to be deceptive and be controlling. That is why throughout all these archetypes, virtue of goodness is so important and one's righteousness and clean living will course correct them from their own shadows so that they don't go deep into the dark end. Denying innocent one. The other shadow aspect is the denying innocent one who feigns ignorance and avoids responsibility. So, pretending to not know, pretending to be ignorant of their own power, avoiding responsibility because if the magician knows that they're wrong, they're too smart to not know how to correct it and or take responsibility. So they pretend as if they are innocent and they don't know so that you cannot call them out on their own ignorance. These are very important to think about as you evaluate yourself and you think about where you fit because this type of knowledge, there's a book on this, um, The Magician, Warrior, King, lover and it speaks about the different archetypes that exist within men that one can learn this is a book that came out in the 90s that one can learn about themselves as i'm writing my own book about masculinity because i want to guide this generation to a higher understanding of self i want you to be able to audit who you are see yourself in these things understand the shadows that come with it so that you have the ability to overpower that shadow, integrate with it, and be better. When I was younger, I wasn't taught about all these things and I have various archetypes within myself that exist. But the guiding through the shadows allows me to become more righteous, to become better, to not make the same mistakes as those before me have made. So I'm seeking the help before I need the help and understanding the side effects that come along with the power. So as men, we must do better. We must think better. We must always seek better. And we must always know that there is a shadow looming over us. And the more integration and the more power we have over it, the less power it has over us. Self-development is the basis of community development. So if you want to contribute to your loved ones better, contribute to the bettering of yourself. Peace. This has been your brief. Are we low level or high level? Ah! 
you're going to jump into Crown Society, you're saying that I represent power, I represent knowledge of self. Stepping in the name of drip, get ready with me. Stepping in the name of drip, get ready. I wear the crown to just symbolize, like, I know who I am, I know why I'm here, I know my purpose. It's abundance, it's royalty, it's prosperity, it's energy. It's Put in. Yeah. I got to walk with my head held high, because you got to see this and you got to see this. I believe that if anybody wants to be able to protect their mind and be able to think freely, you got to get Crown Society today, man. Neo after the blue pill, the color palette's all black. James Bond mixed with Malcolm X and my Che Guevara era.